Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne speaking, and uh, this is another chapter in my book uh, that's called 71 Helpful Writing Habits You Can Learn from Self-Publishing 91 Books. Uh, this is chapter uh, 47, um, and this is called don't get sad by comparing your books to other people's books. Uh, if you uh, get a little bit of education about Amazon, uh, you'll come to realise that each book uh, on Amazon has an Amazon sales rank and that Amazon sales rank is a figure uh, which can tell you um, an estimate of uh, how many um, books, ha how many of that book is selling on the Amazon platform. If someone's uh, book has uh, the number 2,000, they're selling quite a number of books. Um, I remember uh, the best uh, my Amazon sales rank was uh, 6,000 for a paid book and uh, that's uh, when uh, my uh, Amazon uh, book on angels um, became a bestseller in its category and it was leading two categories um, but uh, that number gets larger and larger and goes out to be 2 million and 10 million uh, when uh, you're hardly ever selling a copy of your book uh, Amazon is uh, very accurate and uh, knows how many uh, books are selling and uh, that's updated every few hours. Uh, so uh, when you understand uh, that an Amazon sales rank uh, under 20,000 is a pretty successful book, um, then uh, you may find yourself uh, comparing uh, your book uh, to other authors' books. You may be in the habit of uh, reading books. Uh, if you're a good writer, you'll be reading books and you may uh, check out the Amazon sales rank of a book uh, you're purchasing and you may uh, find uh, that uh, doing that actually makes you sad because uh, the book doesn't seem to be any better than the books that you're writing uh, but the Amazon sales rank tells a different story. It tells you uh, that the book is uh, very popular. <coughs> uh, I'm mentioning the Bible again, but the Apostle Paul, uh, one of the most successful um, writers in the Bible and one of the most successful disciples in the Bible, um, he, he wrote uh, something in the Bible that said, uh, not to compare yourself to other people. And uh, he gave two reasons. Uh, he said that uh, if you compare yourself to another person and you're better uh, than that person, uh, then you'll find pride welling up in you. Uh, if uh, you compare yourself to another person and uh, you uh, seem to be worse than a, that other person, you'll feel sad and depressed uh, so he says not to compare ourselves to anyone uh, but to Christ. And that's the unfortunate uh, thing about uh, comparing yourself uh, to other people. Uh, it can make you sad. Um, I My books uh, tend to perform okay. I, I uh, like to see a popular author and uh, see their book at 400,000, which some of my books are. And uh, I like to think uh, that uh, I'm a fairly successful writer compared to other popular authors. Uh, I um, So I have uh, mixed emotions. Sometimes I'm very happy uh, when I see a person's uh, sales rank, sometimes I get sad and depressed. Uh, I'm only sharing these things uh, to uh, keep you from grief 
and uh, keep you uh, from uh, getting despondent and sad. Um, but as you gain experience uh, in uh, book writing, as you write uh, more than one book and you start to uh, have some success uh, in the book uh, publishing industry, uh, you'll um, develop a thicker skin and uh, not uh, get uh, depressed uh, so easily.